first off, uh, when dealing with uh, human rights issues in the context of a pandemic, it's important that we affirm certain core human rights principles. And that first uh, human rights principle is, uh, of course, the affirmation that everyone uh, has dignity and must be attended to or addressed in the context of that dignity that each of us uh, as human beings have. Because it is a health crisis, there are science and facts on the ground that require assessment as we try and uplift uh, the dignity of all persons. The whole purpose of our response uh, to uh, these recent statements is not to prevent the state from doing what it needs to do to address the pandemic, but to at all times affirm that the purpose for being of a state, which is to serve and protect its people, is constantly affirmed. And that's what the Syracuse principles highlight. However, these principles need to be understood in the context we find them. Is it proper, for example, to punish the unvaccinated in uh, the context of the fact that there are insufficient vaccines available for all? Do we punish the unvaccinated in a situation where it's not their fault that they don't have access to these vaccines. We support all efforts by the state to ensure that the rights of all are ensured, and in particular, the right to public health. Uh, but the means and methodologies to approach that must always be undertaken from a human rights-based approach, meaning the affirmation of the dignity of all and the avoidance of coercive or violent means that would, of course, impact on the personal integrity of people.